Kevin, I found the introduction of your character so interesting because obviously the idea of like a gay conversion camp being progressive is such an oxymoron, but Owen's so friendly and almost accepting at the beginning. And it makes for just a, a much more interesting and sinister character, I thought. Can you speak to just that element of uh, Owen? Well, that was um, thanks to John. I mean, you know, to his credit, he wrote a guy that was not a cookie cutter, you know, um, uh, crew cut, you know, kind of flag wearing, you know, uh, right wing or religious nut. You know, he wanted to soften the edges of this character and um, make him a little bit more of a, you know, a, 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 a dead fan or something, you know, and and uh, and make him feel as as reasonable as possible. And I think that when you you set that up and then you, there's room to really um, shock people in, in a way that happens later on in the film, obviously. Yeah, it's great. And Carrie, you just give such a great performance and you have this great like monologue to Theo where you end it with just the scariest smile and I have a good night. Can you just discuss, discuss what you drew for, from for that scene? Because it was haunting. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, well, I, you know, I think that this, this, sadly, this woman really does believe, you know, what she's saying, but she's also extremely smart, very intelligent, very well educated. So she also knows how manipulative she's being, you know, in order to, to do this. And so, you know, for me, it feels like that's, that's almost the, um, the, the, the true horror of this film. Yes, we have the, the slashing and stuff, but the conversion scenes that Kevin and I both have to be a part of are um, the true, you know, horrors of, of this terrible practice that still goes on today. And so, um, you know, I wanted to be a part of something like that. I don't usually get to play the bad guy. And so that was, you know, fun, fun for, for me to do that. But, um, you know, you, you, you kill people with smiles as much as you do with glares, you know? So <laughs> I went with that. <laughs> Definitely. And Kevin, you just have such a rich history with horror. What about this project grabbed you and kind of made you want to return to the, the camp slasher genre? I mean, you bring such excitement and expectations to the film. Yeah, I mean, I love horror because horror has very, very high stakes. You know, it's, it's life and death and that's good stuff to act. Um, you know, John uh, could have made a movie that was about gay conversion. It could have been a dark little indie, you know, sort of drama. But, you know, to his credit, he realized that horror is a genre that has the possibility of reaching a lot of people. We see that all the time when things kind of come out of the gate and, uh, you know, they have a very widespread appeal. So to take this um this background this 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 uh this terrible idea this to horror in itself of, of gay conversion and then plug it into a, a very kind of traditional structure for us but you know a 70s camp slasher movie was just kind of i thought a super brilliant idea and this yeah, the film oh, please continue i'm sorry i was just going to uh, say that the script itself is is kind of a, a, a conversion of, of what we usually see in these types of films, you know, uh, in, in a way, the film, the, the, the counselors become the counseled, so to speak. <laughs> 